What's going on, YouTube? Block Buzz TV. I'm y'all boy Smitty, and I know y'all want to know what's the buzz on the block today. Today's buzz is takeoff, man. And I just was thinking, man, and I'm starting to see a lot of red flags in this whole takeoff case. We're going to break this down, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. First red flag. Once the alleged killer of takeoff was arrested, Patrick Clark, once he was took to jail, he showed up in court with this high-profile defense attorney. And you know what they did? They told the judge that he didn't have enough money to fight his case. So they needed the judge to get him $5,000 to hire a private investigator to prove that he was innocent. And the court gave him $5,000. I have never seen that before. The only thing I have ever saw the court give is a damn public defender. That's it. Now, maybe I'm wrong. If y'all have ever saw this before, please get in the comment section and let me know. The court gave this man $5,000 to hire a private investigator. Who is that private investigator? Red flag number two. The private investigator is an ex-police officer. So not only did y'all give him $5,000 to hire a private investigator, but this private investigator is an ex-cop. When Patrick Clark got bailed out of jail, an anonymous donor gave the money. A million dollar bond. Let one of y'all right now who sell drugs and ain't got no damn check stubs go somewhere with 20,000 cash and try to buy something. Man, the feds gonna be all on y'all ass because they gonna wanna know where the hell did this money come from. So y'all mean to tell me somebody paid a million dollar bond anonymous there was a concerned citizen and that's just it. The feds don't want to know where that money came from. And then on top of that, the same private investigator that the judge gave Patrick Clark $5,000, $5,000 to hire is the same person who name is signed for Patrick Clark's bail. Is that even legal? Can you hire a private investigator and this private investigator is signing papers to get you released out of jail? And third, bro, when the chief of police came out and said that they found Patrick Clark, the, kill, the alleged killer at takeoff, he thanked the Houston Police Department, he thanked the gang unit, he thanked the ATF. He thanked the FBI. He said all four of these departments had something to do with bringing this man in. So if you got the ATF and the FBI, these are two branches that was put together by the United States of America. That means unlimited resources. Y'all got Patrick Clark on camera shooting. Y'all got Patrick Clark on camera putting a wine bottle down. Y'all got Patrick Clark on camera leaving the scene. Y'all got Migo Bands on camera arguing. Migo Bands on camera shooting. Y'all don't have this third suspect on camera? Remember, they said Migo Bands didn't shoot anybody. They said the only person Patrick Clark shot was Takeoff. So who the hell shot the girl in the head and shot the dude in the leg? Y'all don't think they families deserve justice? I haven't seen one News article saying they're offering a reward for anybody who have information on a third shooter in the takeoff case. Nothing. It's like they don't even care. Block Buzz TV, man. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think. Am I tripping? Or is this stuff to really be concerned about, bro? These are really red flags me, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on my